I had been scrubbing speed like everyone, so I kind of I changed my gear strategy on on the last lap just to try to try to maintain and not not slide anymore. And basically, I think duplicated my third lap on the last lap. So once once I saw that we didn't drop below below that number and the rest of them were higher, I figured we'd be good. And what was that it's feeling? Hard to do, yeah. It's hard to do math at two thirty. What'd you say to yourself if you crossed the line? I mean, what 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 was going through your brain? Uh, I mean, to be honest, knowing what my RPMs were and what speed I was carrying into turn three, I knew that if I got through turn three and four without lifting, that we were probably going to be in good shape. So, um, you know, going into three is when, when it started, just making sure I nailed those last two corners, um, you know, and then, then coming down the front stretch, could really just kind of enjoy it, knowing that, that we were going to be on the pole for the second year. It feels like deja vu. It's not a, it's not a great feeling to be so close again, but uh, no, I mean, honestly, Ed and, and the whole Carpenter team have done such a great job. We knew they were the guys to beat, and uh, we honestly kind of came into today thinking we were racing for second because we didn't think we had anything for them, and those first three laps we did, but, you know, unfortunately we were uh, hanging on a little too tight and, and had to give a little bit up there at the end.